both the sea star's scientific and common names allude to their shape. Like a five-point star, sea stars are classified in a class that means star-like appearance. Of course, not all sea stars have five arms. Some have 20 arms or more. Patrick Star is one of the most well-known sea stars in modern-day media. While his exact species was never revealed by the show's creator, our guess is that he's a pink sea star, because they live in both sandy and rocky bottom areas. What's more, Patrick's popularity has earned him a name in science. A real-life sea star species, described in 2020, was named after him due to its affinity for sponges, much like Patrick's friendship with SpongeBob in the show. That same year, at least one sea star species was officially placed on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. While they may seem ubiquitous, there are over 2,000 unique sea star species, and some are currently listed as critically endangered. That species, commonly known as the sunflower sea star, plays an important role in reducing sea urchin populations. Without urchin predators, sea urchins can consume entire kelp forests and lead to urchin barrens. Urchin barrens are devoid of kelp and all the organisms that would otherwise live in that kelp. Another cool fact about the sunflower sea star is that it's one of the largest known of these animals alive today. Their arms can span more than three feet, and they can weigh more than a cat. A second well-known sea star is Staryu from Pokemon. This Pokemon is described to float on the ocean's surface at night. While adult sea stars don't do this in real life, sea star larvae do float. An attribute of Staryu is its glowing middle disc. There are actually sea stars that produce bioluminescence, though instead of remaining in the middle disc, it's across the animal's entire body. The evolved form of Staryu, Starmy, is also known to propel itself through the water, sometimes even breaching the water's surface. Sea stars aren't able to do this. However, there are similar looking animals, commonly known as feather stars, that can swim. Feather stars, however, aren't sea stars. The smallest known sea star could fit on the end of your index finger. They generally don't reach more than a centimeter in length. What's more, they give birth to live young. You've also probably heard that sea stars do not have blood, are predators, and have simple eyes. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full sea star episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.